foot, 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 Dungeons and Dragons Otter Among Thieves has created some real excitement around this film and considering it's brought in over 200 million dollars over the course of its run in movie theaters. I'll hold them. Find that vault. You sure I can't help? I'm certain. Well, ah, oh, okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hit you hard with that thing. <laughs> And while it's still in movie theaters now, the favoritism of this film doesn't seem to be fading away anytime soon. Today we'll be looking at all of the behind the scenes bloopers and funny moments from this film. The only way to succeed in Oh, I, I forgot to be in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do that? That's in the outtakes. Braid foot, braid foot, braid foot, braid foot, braid foot, braid foot, braid. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if the wind didn't blow it back! But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What Disney film is Chris Pine set to voice in this November in theaters? Leave your answers in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Ford did say the richest men were coming into Baldur's Gate and water. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> let's just, let's cut. We got, we got most of it. What are you doing to me? <laughs> happens again. I'm going to monologue of funny names. Wait for it. Jordan. Jordan. Going through all of these moments of the bloopers, it's clear that it was a lot of fun shooting for this film. Unlock ourselves in. Awesome. No, if we survive this, will be another challenge and another until every single person in this cage. Filming began in April of 2021 in Iceland, and later in Northern Ireland, and debuted in March. One thing that was actually very appropriate for the cast to do was play the physical game of Dungeons and Dragons. I decided we deserved a better life than a, the Harper's Oath allowed us. Bless you. Yeah, it'd be great if you could pay attention. You done now? Allergy man? Giant cleats to you as so. <laughs> Chris Prine was apparently converted to a true believer by his time with the RPG going on to play D&D with his family. What will become of the wealth you burgle? Uh, what does that matter? I will not be complicit in the illicit use of old autumn booty. Yeah, but it's our booty. And a lovely booty it is. <laughs> Anytime. Thanks. A friend is a cat that lives next door to my house. That and I talk to slugs. Meanwhile, Smith turned up to his session zero with Paige, having already rolled his own character sheet and expanded his character's on-screen backstory with additional headcanon. Before you announce your decision, I just implore you to please wait for Jonathan. <laughs> 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 Foot, 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 To get into the feels of the film, when starting post-production, it wasn't only the cast that did this, but some of the cast and crew as well. When they joined in and played the physical version of Dungeons and Dragons, which they had a blast doing so. Like that torch, boys. This is the worst decision since that cantrip about water. Not open to questions point. by all means. Uh, <coughs> I'm choking to death, Jim. <laughs> we also wanted to give a shout out to our DC Thursday winner. If you guys didn't know, we ask a challenging DC related trivia question over on our community tab. If you answer it correct, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. Well, we're Good to see you again!
What's up? What's going on here? What is my line? I, I don't, I'm trying to get my <laughs> Okay. Aside from all the hilarious bloopers, we can also talk about the deleted scenes. There was one that showed how they brought the dead to life, aka Corpse 6, an undead character that shares some of his favorite recommendations of poetry, stage plays, and travel logs. Justice, I swear on all that's holy. It's a part of my process. It's still not a part of your process. good? Thank you. And I was about to cry. <laughs> okay. The deleted scene is unfinished, so fans have a chance to see the practical set in front of a blue screen and two members of the crew moving the corpse's arms for him before they are digitally removed. Yeah, good for you. Simon, hold on to this. <clears throat> Ask me where it is. <laughs> I bet you don't know, do you? Oh, the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and if you... What does it do? If you tickle it in the right way. <laughs> cutting. <laughs> I have no idea. Cutting. Cutting there. There. <laughs> And it's really interesting to see this, as at first glance, you'd think this was a physical person. But when a couple of the crew members come in, you notice that they start controlling his arms. Now, in terms of stage plays, I'd be remiss not to include the potter's ground of Penelope. Wait for... Wait for... Jonathan! You can say one. I don't have one. Okay, can you see? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This next clip was focused on how the team created other scenes of bringing the corpse to life and actually putting someone in the corpse costume and how they did the makeup and prosthetics to make it look so real. What we came up with was a basic costume, a general dead body costume. And then the makeups, these were all, these were all prosthetic makeups. Close your mouth all the way. Can you do this? No. There were also a few other deleted scenes we can take a look at. Where's the other one? He's got no head! Most of it a bump. It's good to have you back, kid. Ah! <laughs> I played with it? And I make plans. I'm uh, irrelevant. <laughs> In other news, the directors to this project has said that they had no initial plans to make the series a film and extend the story. Wait for. Getting okay, this all on film is so embarrassing. Concentrate, Simon. Well, I'm gonna remember my lines. The director and co-writer came together during one interview saying a sequel would allow us to lean into those things. There was a certain trepidation along all parties. In other words, Forge is an asshole. I mean, son of a So you blame his rectum for his corruption? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Please wait for... Jonathan! Yeah! I love you guys. No rolling. <laughs> <laughs> that said, the directors don't have specific plans for a sequel yet. It was never our intention when we came on board this film to make a franchise, John Francis said. <laughs> oh. Bless you. Loga! Loga! So whether or not there is a sequel in the future, we will just have to pay close attention to the news on whether or not this eventually gets confirmed. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. I like bunny rabbits. 
bread, 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 <laughs> and as far as the answer to our trivia question, Chris Pine is going to be starring as King Magnifico in the upcoming Disney film, Wish. And there are so many people who can't wait to not only finally see a real villain, but Chris Pine's portrayal of this villain as well. Grapefruit, 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 grapefruit. That battle was... Wait a something on fire. <laughs> So we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What are your thoughts on all this and what was your favorite part about this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. The only way to succeed in this is to have confidence that it can be done. He doesn't. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Are you eating ashes? Yes, I'm a tiefling. Huh.